Welcome to Decoded by Christina Minutes. Today, I'm going to talk about grid template rows and grid auto rows. When using CSS Grid, grid template rows and grid template columns are used to define the number of tracks in an explicit grid. Let's say we have six items. Using three values with grid template columns will create three columns. They can be the same or different sizes. The overflow of items will automatically be displayed on a second row with the same height as the content. Grid template rows can be used to change that. For example, two values will define the height of the next two rows. This works fine if we know we'll have six items, but when using dynamic content like search results, you won't always know how many items there are, or maybe you just end up removing or adding content later. Let's say we're using this grid to add dynamic content and there's only three items of content available. Since grid template rows is currently using two values to define the size of two explicit rows, a blank second row will be displayed, even though there aren't any items to fill the second row. Removing the second value will remove the blank row. And now, if you were to have more grid items than defined with an explicit grid, an implicit grid will be generated for the overflow of items. To control the height of the rows created in an implicit grid, use grid auto rows. One value will set the height of all the current rows and any rows added in the future. Multiple values can be used to set different row heights. For example, adding a second value will define the size of the second row, fourth row, sixth row, and so on. To summarize, use grid template rows in an explicit grid and grid auto rows for an implicit grid. To learn more about these grid properties, check out the MDN documentation listed in the video description.